Hey guys, it's Cody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, just a little sneak peek. That's that's Dutch over there underneath. Him on bottom getting smashed by the judo guy. That's him. So we'll see if we can get him over here, pull him over here a little bit later. But guys, wanted to give a quick video about a uh, subject we've been talking about really all week long in class, and that's finding out who you are. Uh, some of you may be thinking I'm 40 years old, I'm 30 years old, I know exactly who I am. Uh, but you know, may, maybe there'll be some parts that you haven't really discovered about yourself yet. I have people that come in and they say, I've seen this guy on this video, or I've seen that guy on that video, or the people that come in to work out, I want this type of body. Well, that's all great to be looking up to people and to have goals and to set these goals for yourself, but sometimes these goals need to be more realistic than kind of what you're making. I'm not saying that you can't eventually get to where you want to be or you can't have the body that you want to have, but what I am saying is you need to find out exactly who you are with what you're doing. Uh, we all can't be Arnold Schwarzenegger, we all can't be John Cena. We all can't be Marcus Pichetia. Uh, but what we can be is ourselves. Uh, but guys, you still have a place. You have a style. You have something that will fit you whenever you come into any martial arts, Taekwondo, uh, Muay Thai, kickboxing, Jiu Jitsu. You have a place. You have a style. The techniques may be a lot the same, but guys, you can take them and make them yours. And that becomes your style. Finding out who you are, whether it be in life or on the mats, that is your biggest asset to learning your path in martial arts. So it's okay to emulate a lot of people. It's okay to look up to a lot of people. But we can't really wish ourselves to be that person because we have to be us. I have certain things that work out for me really well when I'm grappling. There's a lot of other moves that I teach other people with different body types that won't work out so well for me, but I teach it because it helps them. So whenever you're watching, you're, you're, you're rolling, you're doing your arts, you're studying, stuff like that. Guys, study moves and study techniques that are good for your body type. Find people that are about your height, your weight, your size, and do the things that work for them, because chances are they're gonna be the things that work for you. Now there's still different styles that you can go into, so it's good to have these things that you look up to, but guys, find your place in your gym. Find your spot personally, uh, spiritually, and on the mats physically. Okay, you have a spot. Eventually, maybe your body will change, and so your techniques will change along with it. That's called evolution. And that's exactly what you're wanting to happen. Maybe after a few years, you've been in this a little bit, you've done the same things over and over again. Go back and revisit those things that work for you. I guarantee you, you'll see something different whenever you go back and look at it. But the biggest thing I want you to get out of this is find out who you are. You can say I'm 40 years old, 35 years old. I know exactly who I am. Uh, maybe not quite. Maybe you know exactly what you want to be, but sometimes it takes a little bit of self-acceptance and what our limitations are, or maybe a spot that we're not working hard. You know, and that could be the spot that's our turning point, that in our training, maybe in our mindset, even in our life. Because the, the mats, they imitate life. Dutch! Let's see if we can get him over here away from his learning. He's trying to figure out how to not break his back. Getting thrown over there by the judo expert. So we're talking to, talking to guys right now, this is Dutch. So, how are you doing? Um, talking a little bit about what works for you as a body type, kind of, yeah. kind of accepting who you are as a person and body type on here. Yeah. Um, what, what do you, if you struggle with any part of that when you first started, what have you kind of figured well, out? Well, yeah, the first, what I figured out real quick, what it's called the iron blanket. When you're this size, you just get on them and you just lay there. <laughs> so, the iron blanket would work great for him. Okay, works great for him. I got good pressure, but because of his type, you find out what works for him. So, that's exactly what you got to do. How long did that take you to figure out and accept? Not very long. Pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, pretty getting quick. smashed. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Getting smashed. yeah. When I first started, you know, I'm out of shape. I was really out of shape then. The hardest part of overcoming is just being tired, being, being so tired so quick. Once he found some efficiency in his movement, he kind of had to accept he's a big boy. Yeah. He had absolutely. to accept it. We're not going to be doing baron bolos and stuff like that with the lapel guard or anything like that. We have to accept who we are. So we'll take that off from the mats. Carry it over in the life, guys. But Glad to pull him over, wait, wait for a little bit, let him go back to get feeling. I get a rest now. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching.